Okay, thank you for that. Um, I would score um, NHS. First of all, what is the answer? Um, one. No, is it is it responsive? Is it not? It's not responsive. It is not responsive. Yes, it's not responsive. So mm -hmm. I give them a one. Um, the issue of accountability comes in very handy. Um, mm -hmm. We've seen that um, the issues of corporate governance, the issues of fraud, mm -hmm. and also the issues of um, corruption. So I would give it a one. So Whitney, you're assigning NHIF one out of five. Uh, what about Prof? Um, is NHIF responsive to Kenya's health needs? I think the only grade which is the least there is one, so I give it one because no one goes to bed saying they have NHIF. Why I'm trying to say so, mm -hmm. you saw the figures they are showing. Somebody said that NHIF settled is 75,000 bill. What you don't know is that the hospital was not paid that money. Very good. Which is the most important. The service provider didn't get the money. That's why they're in debt. Very good. What about one, Jackie? I'd give it a three, and I'll tell you, you give why. give it a three? Let me tell you why. Mm -hmm. In my, in my um, opinion, the issue is not service delivery. Mm -hmm. The issue is how it's structured and some of things like SLAs. Very good. But they are providing services. Look at the comments. They're providing services and people appreciate it. And shortly we are going to the comments. And then the final question is, is NHIF positioned to deliver the universal health coverage? Let's start with uh, Prof. Yes, the main intention that without health financing, you cannot deliver universal health coverage. In fact, the reason why NHIF remains that can offer hope is that it's the only remaining opportunity to be able to sort out the issue of universal health so coverage. So you give it what? Uh, I'll give it a three. You give it a three? Yeah. It is positioned. positioned. It is positioned. Whether it is delivering, another story. Very good. Whitney. Um, currently, as we speak, I would give it a two. It is um, positioned, as Prof said, mm -hmm. but um, the current management is they're, they're not doing the job. Very good. Yes. One jiggy. Positioned three, structure. Three. Yes. Issue of structure and management. Mm -hmm. So you're also giving it three. Yeah. You are agreeing with Prof. I'm pro for the first time we agree. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, so I think um, you know when we do an aggregate of. Uh, you know, you are scoring. It, it, it looks like a yes, um, you know, in terms of position, uh, you, all the three of you, you do agree that uh, NHIF is well positioned to deliver the UHC. But when it comes to whether NHIF is responsive to Kenya's health needs, this is where um, the numbers uh, don't look very good. We now want to go to the scoreboard so that we can hear people's responses from Marie. Indeed, Brian, we have very many responses tonight. We might not be able to read all of them, but all, um, uh, nevertheless, we really are grateful that you've been able to take your time and really interact with us. Now, Job Mutanda on Facebook is saying, not all, in fact, since 2011, we were being deducted uh, 300 uh, shillings. This is something to do with the... Uh, one of the companies anyway. So Steve uh, Othoth says, yes, paid over 50K twice to my spouse, but the government must rid of corruption from the fund. Exactly what you were talking about, mm -hmm. uh, some of the loopholes and why those monies are not getting to where they need to be. Uh, Rafael Rotono says, no poor services. So he's not agreeing with the, whether uh, NHIF has been of benefit to him. Mm -hmm. uh, Edwin Rotich says, not at all, not, not at all public hospitals. Uh, and Evans is saying, for me, it's actually painful. I'm not so sure what that means, but yes. Um, yes, and Degwa Gideon says, yes, much. So, varied uh, reactions from our viewers, and uh, just as we've had it also from our panelists, it's also been varied reactions in terms of whether NHIF is in position to actually deliver on its mandate uh, or 